Hello, everybody. Welcome to the American Bistro Girl. I'm your host, Roberto Alvarez Galloso, otherwise known as Dr. Rob, which is a fictional character. But we're not going to get into that detail. We're going to, we do have here, and it's a pleasure and an honor having a fellow patriot, one who also believes in God, family, and country. And before I continue, I dedicate this to Abbey London. We have the Made in America cap and also to All American Clothing Company, which are wearing the clothes, Made in Ohio. For me, we have Johnny Cole Murdoch, one great patriot, God, family, and country. For us, it's a pleasure and an honor having you. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be here and talking with you. For me, it's a pleasure and an honor. I had the honor of seeing your YouTube channel and also visiting your Instagram. We've tried to get you here many times because we're going full steam with any artist who loves God, family, and country, especially in these times that we need God, family, and country. And there were there was one video that I really loved a lot. These colors don't run. What inspired you to record these colors don't run? And how did you make a great YouTube, or better yet, how did you make a great video to be covered on all social media? Um. Well, I think it, to some extent, like the song was definitely inspired by all the veterans because I served in the military. My great grandfather, who was a huge impact on me and taught me about loving God, loving country. And uh, he, he was an amazing man. He served in World War II. So that that's definitely um, was an influence in it. But surprisingly, like, yes, the song is out in 2024, but I actually wrote the song back in 2021 when all the riots and the insanity were going mm -hmm. on and just... Um, I, I think that combined with like my love for country, uh, yeah, my love for country, my family heritage of service and seeing how our country was being destroyed and nobody wanted to say anything about it. Like people would act insane and, and, you know, and just come up with excuses for it, you know, but like us conservatives, the person that we voted for Donald J. Trump had an assassination attempt on his life and then an innocent firefighter got murdered because of that. And we're not riding in the streets. We're not hurting people. You know, if anything, I, I, I would like to hope that a lot of people were praying, you know, for the, you know, the family members lost, even of the shooter's family, because we want everybody to come to God. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's, that, that, that's, that's the main thing. You got any other questions about it? Now, just simply let it know how did how did you do the video? You wrote the song and everything, but how were you able to do a great video? Honestly, um, I've been learning a little bit about some of the camera type of stuff. It's um, long story short, I had to take a break from my music career um, because I lost my voice. I developed hypothyroidism, so like I couldn't mm -hmm. sing. Um, I was feeling sick a lot. So like in in the meantime, when I was working on getting healthy, I don't like to be stagnant. I always like to be growing and learning. So I've been teaching myself some graphic design. I even got to take uh, one video editing class at Liberty University Online, which is a phenomenal online school, by the way. And uh, I used some of those skills and, and the song came out and we, we needed to get the video out to try to spread the word. So I ended up investing in a, a few more lights that I'm using right now. I got one right here and there, some really nice lights. I got a better lens for my my Canon R7, and uh, you know we we shot some stuff one day. It didn't turn out how I wanted it to because, like you know, some music videos they have like bunch of bunch of places where you're like cutting away at different angles, and I wanted it to be as raw and as real as it could be, even though like I'm singing along to the track that's already been recorded. So I, I took like five takes of like me actually literally singing along with it so that like, you know, the music video would look as professional as I could just be in one person, you know, um, cutting it together. And then from there, I took some some awesome public domain photos from World War Two, which because world, the World War Two generation is super inspiring to me, the place in there, along with some different like flag stuff I took out here in East Texas at the Van Zandt uh, War Memorial. Great. I also saw some other videos that you had in, in all your social media, YouTube and other social media. I wanted to congratulate you on the riff that you really did with the riff with the, with the guitar. 
and your other video, mm -hmm. Heart Sunk Heart Sunk Low. What inspired you to do Heart Sunk Low, and what inspired you to do the riff on the video? Well, the inspired me to do Heart Sunk Low. I actually co-wrote that with the guy named CJ Solar when I was going to Belmont in twenty. 20 in their songwriter program. I met him. We wrote that together, but that, that riff, I had that riff probably since 2019 and I loved it, but I just, I couldn't figure out a way to put it into a song. And, um, I, I'm not like the biggest person on co-writing with a lot of people. Cause you like, you just don't, I mean, you, you want to bring, if you have something really special, you don't just want to use it with anybody. So like I got to do a co-write with CJ solar and, uh, I took, I, sh I presented the riff and, you know, he started coming up with a chord progression. We started like singing and writing the melody and lyrics to it. And it kind of came together. Great. How did you get, how did you get started? And how, and how did you get started from the beginning? How do you get started to where you're at right now? And how do you see the, How do you see your future in music? Um, I got started, I guess, singing in church. Like, I guess many people singing hymns with the hymnal, like, you know, not contemporary Christian music, but actual hymns, which I do think Im impacts the way that I write melodies and write songs, maybe different than other people. And, uh, and I guess like uh, midway through high school, I ended up picking up the guitar. I started learning it pretty quick. And I took that with me through the military. I never really played any shows until I joined the military. And when I joined the military, I ended up joining a band and we did like covers and bars and that that's kind of where I got my start doing that and playing solo shows, acoustic shows. And uh, once I got out of the military, um, I had a guy that I met, that I met up in North Dakota that's really good at graphic design, uh, make me the logo that I'm still currently book professional trying to book gigs. And I kind of been doing it since then. But when I got out of the military, I was playing gigs at home for a little bit, but I had a full ride scholarship to Hillsdale College. So I went up there and I was going to school at Hillsdale for a while um, where I had met my wife and I, I was still playing gigs up there and booking things, but I wasn't trying to like take it to the next level. I wasn't, you know, you know, recording and releasing things or like I was at that time, my, my main goal was to go to medical school. Mm -hmm. And uh, but she convinced me to pursue music instead. So at that point, we had moved down to Nashville, like I left Hillsdale College, you know, and we moved to Nashville in 2020, in January 1st, <laughs> right before the crazy happened. And oh well, yeah, it felt like a good time. And um, we did that for a while. I had met some different people. I had bought some recording equipment and started like, you know, learning how to record a little bit myself. And it's, um, <clears throat> and and I remodeled a pole barn that we were, we, we bought a house actually outside of Ashland city or outside of Nashville in Ashland city, Tennessee. And, uh, I mean, that's, that's kind of where like some of the recording things happen. And I got a recording and I thought it was pretty good. So I found, I met somebody that had a song on radio, Texas country radio. So I ended up talking to her. I was like, Hey, how do you do this? Who do I talk to? I ended up talking to, a guy named Mario Flores about promoting mm -hmm. the song to Texas country radio while we were still living in Tennessee. And, uh, at the time, like, because of all the COVID restrictions, mm -hmm. the school going to school at Belmont was just, it was not worth it for me. So I ended up dropping out and moving back to Texas to pursue the Texas country scene and push a song to radio called girl, let's go dancing, which actually broke the top 10 top 100 which is pretty cool. I think it hit 97. And, uh, but during the promotion of the song, once it hit the 97 is when I felt, started feeling really sick. I lost my voice. I couldn't sing at all. And, uh, I had to take the real pause on my music career for about two years. Great. And, uh, in the meantime of, of being really sick, um, my wife really helped me out. I didn't do anything for like the first six months other than like go to doctor's appointment and get blood drawn and try to get medicine right. And, uh, but I still didn't get any sort more, more normalcy until about a year in. And at, at that point I was like, man, I just can't be sitting around everywhere. Cause I've always been like a go, go, go. And I'm really just getting after things nonstop. And that made me really have to stop, but it's like, oh, I got to do something. So I ended up been taking some classes at Liberty university learning about some audio engineering and then graphic design and marketing 
through their online program it, pretty much up until now recently and and it in January this year, I went down to Nashville to record Heart Sunk Low, which we did that in three days there with a producer named Cole Phelps, which is phenomenal. I recommend him. And uh, and it kind of leads where we are now. Like uh, we, we recently did uh, uh, These Colors Don't Run, but I wasn't able to make it down to Nashville. And also the producer was having a baby, so it just wasn't able to like make it in time because, you know, like he has to be there. Mm -hmm. in case the baby's ready so we ended up doing a lot of it remotely like he tracked all of the instruments all the guitar parts in nashville and then i just sang the uh vocals in my home studio but i did do the guitar solo here that's pretty much everything else was in nashville and then people in nashville mixed and mastered it and that's how we got we got uh um these colors don't run and here i am now just getting back into this thing and just get my feet underneath me and trying to start running. So sorry. It's like, it's not like a slow story. So no, don't worry. You're doing, you're doing great. <clears throat> where, where, where can we get a little bit? Where can we get your material? Um, It's on Spotify and Apple music. The cool thing is if you go to Apple music, you can buy the songs. They're like 99 cents. It's not too much. I mean, coffee costs more. So that's like a great way to mm -hmm. help support also have my website, johnnycoolmurdoch.com, which has some merch, but I have some new patriotic merch coming out with an American flag that I think people would, would appreciate. Great. Uh, number one, I want to thank you and your family. You, you're, you also serve, you also serve the military, right? Yes, sir. Okay, great. I wanted to thank you for your service to our country. I also want to thank all of your family that served in the military. You all deserve everything and i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your service to our country the same with you and all of your family i appreciate that yeah if it weren't for you who knows but now we're facing even a bigger battle and we will prevail because god is with us god is Amen. with us i also want to i want also before leaving I'm going to be saying goodbye separately, but before leaving and, mm -hmm. going, and before leaving with my public, I want to extend an invitation to all Americana artists, all country and rock artists who believe in God, who believe in family and who believe in country. Please come to the Americana Bistro Grill, not only to showcase your talent. We're not here to not only promote your talent. We're not only here to promote the Americana Bistro Grill. We are here to promote God, family, and country. We can no longer sit in the sidelines. Again, I invite any Americana artists. I'm going to repeat it again. We, I invite all Americana country and rock artists, please come. I'll be sending you my email and uh, all the other information. I'm on, I'm on Instagram. I'm on all the, I'm on all the channels, including Gab, Bright Young, Big Shoot, and Rumble. And my email is going to be here in this in this channel as well. I'm also going to be sending it to you personally so that you can start sharing it with those who have our values. Absolutely. Like, like Elvis Presley once said, it's now or never. And in this case, it's now or never. I'm talking from experience, from my family. I didn't go through any motions that others here have went through. My family went through hell. They went through hell in Spain in the 1930s and they went through hell in Cuba. And some of them are still eating dirt in Cuba as we're talking right now. That makes me mad. And I will not have that in our America. I nope. will not have it in our America. That's why the more people who believe in God, family and country to come to our program, the more we will be vocal, the more presence we will have. This is Roberto Alvarez Gallos, also known as Dr. Rob. Dr. Rob is a fictional character that I invented. So that we don't have any anyone saying, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna cancel him. Mm -hmm. I will say this, may God bless you from the heart of Florida and may God bless anyone who sees this video and this interview. 
And in addition, peace in, peace out, and peace everywhere. But this peace in, peace out, and peace everywhere has to come with the Trinity, God, family, and country. Amen. The rest is the rest. Amen.